Okay, day two of the projector stuff. I guess it's really day three. Yesterday I was playing around, uh, but I had to wait for today for the projector to come in. So I got the projector. Just what uh, Oliver specked out, the Ben Q thro short throw. Uh, pretty nice projector. Works pretty good. Um, still have my connect sensor. And it's all mounted on a nice frame. <laughs> it's just a prototype frame just to get measurements and make sure things are working before I build the real frame. Uh, I had a round swimming pool with some sand in it to play with and I decided that the round being on the corners it wasn't letting me calibrate it right so my calibration wouldn't set wouldn't take very good so what I did is I took the uh, round sandbox out and I just calibrated off the floor um, I used the Oliver's target but I modified it slightly in that I put a wire on the bottom of it, not just to hold, but so I could prop it up. Oop, where am I at? There I am. So you can see that it's got a wire. I just taped it on for right now. Again, just playing around with stuff. And you can take and bend this wire and set it at different depths, get it to sit on the floor when you're doing your calibration or sit wherever and you don't have to hold it and you don't get that little bit of wiggle um, and I ran through and calibrated by using the wire you know one time I propped it up real high and then I have it real down real low and um, I just went through the grid the calibration grid all at the same height changed the height of the disc and went through and did it all again I think I wound up doing it like four times and I came out with pretty decent calibration um, when I see the red X following the target it's it's pretty close it's within a couple millimeters um, I could do it some more I'll bet you it even gets better but since this isn't the final thing and you know this piece of wood that the projectors on is held up it's tie wrapped to a chair just to give it some stability um, again like I said this is just for prototyping to get some distances and ideas of exactly where I, what I want to build um, have some plans there and then for this uh, simulation stuff I took a, a white piece of bedding and instead of the sand I'm just using the white bedding um, to see how well it lines up and you can see that it actually does a pretty good job. I mean, it's finding the, the projection is lining up on the creases pretty good. Um, again, a little more calibration. It might get even better. Uh, the rain works. Well, it does most of the time. There it goes. Oh, it's back here, that's why. So the rain works. Um, you can see the lines, the edge of the water where I drew the, when I was doing the calibration, uh, that's where I drew the lines because it was inside of that round sandbox. So I could come out and redo that. Oh no, I spilled water on the floor. Now that it's just square and I can play with this blanket and stuff and not make a mess, um, just to get everything working right, I could go through and reset that box, you know, reset your water bounding box. But that's what it is. Um, picked up a gaming PC. I don't remember what the chip is. It's an AMD. Um, it's nice, but this thing's about five years old, so it's not a brand new, super powerful. Uh, it's got way than more than enough memory. It's got 8 gig of memory. That's way more than enough. But the one thing that I did find, I played with different graphics cards. And I wound up with a uh, Geoforce 
750 Ti. Uh, slightly cheaper than the 960, well, about half price. They're about $160 for a 750, whereas the 980s or 970s are about $340. So um, you can tell by the simulation and the water flow that the 750 is, I think, is more than sufficient. Does a good job. I did try the other cards that came in the box. You can see I got some. They're sitting over there. I tried those. Um, when I used just the standard built-in VGA driver, even though it was uh, NVIDIA, it was nowhere close. As soon as I'd go to turn on the simulation, they would just freeze up the whole program. Um, I actually had to reboot the computer because I couldn't get anything to respond. Uh, with that other small card, external card that came with it, I don't know the model on it. It wasn't very big. Um, it would run, but it was very choppy, and then sometimes it would freeze up. But now with that 750, she just runs like a champ. Runs like a champ. Um, it's got the dual monitors. I use the DVI for the screen so I can see what I'm doing. And then the HDMI, one of the HDMI outputs goes to the projector. Um, works good. So, I was a little bummed this earlier when I was playing with calibration. I couldn't get it to run right. And once I took the round sandbox out so that it didn't sense the edges of the sandbox and mess it up, um, it seems to be working great now so next step build a box make something more than this uh <laughs> hodgepodge of stuff later